Welcome to the Dry as Hell Podcast. This is uh, me, Jason, <sighs> Frank, and John. Hey. And, um, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> roll intro music! You are now listening to the Dry as Hell Podcast with Tyler and Jason. Um, all right, so, um, I had one of the topics that I wanted to talk about because it just kind of occurred to me the other day that I feel like, I don't know if this, this is like the way that you guys feel too, but do you think that your dreams, right? Do you think that your dreams tell the future? Um, Sometimes. I think... I, I, hold on, John, before you start, I just want everyone to know that I really want to hear about what you have to say. About what I have? No, what John. Bro, what oh. the fuck? <laughs> okay, all right. You like he had to like interrupt to say that. <laughs> um, it's gonna be good because I love I love John's thoughts on this. Um, do they do they they, they tell the future? Um, I think. Well, I mean, granted, ninety seven percent of my dreaming is nightmares. I don't know why. I never figured out why. Oh. It's either I typically have nightmares or I don't. You ever like slept and you just feel like you don't dream at all and it's all black? Yes. Do you know what that actually is? That's no. you dreaming but not remembering it. That's why it's black because you're not actually not. At oh. least that's what I've been told and I've like done research and that's what I've read. It I mean, could be anything. I don't think there's actual um, study on that being true. But like same with like when you dream and you can remember certain parts of it. That's the, You technically have like I think it's like a couple thousand different dreams in one night but your mind only remembers certain things. But no. I think – I don't want to name drop. But I believe that – Call him Charlie. Well, I'm just yeah, saying my ex. I've had – Decent amount of X's, as shitty as that sounds. Yeah, but um, I think I still haven't had as many as Tyler. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's the I, king. <laughs> um, I think that dreams could tell the future. I think that I think dreams could go, do a lot more than just telling the future. I mean, I actually, as shitty as it sounds, I caught my ex up in a dream before. As weird as that is, I had a dream that she was like flirting with some dude, and. It fucking ended up like a month later. That exact moment from that, you know, like have deja vu. Yeah, that fucking yeah. moment from the dream played out in real life right in front of my eyes, and I like freaked out because I was like, "Oh, deja vu has happened before." But I was like, "Wait a minute, no, it didn't. I had a dream of this shit, and it was fucking weird." But I don't know. I think dreams I, are a crazy thing. I've had similar experiences too, where like, but like, it wouldn't be like as like specific as that. It would be like random things, and I'm like, "Whoa, what the fuck?" Like. And, uh, and then, like, I'll, I'll call it out in my head, and I'm like, and there's, like, a, like, for instance, like, a red car drive by. And I'm like, oh, yeah, and then there's going to be a red car driving by, and then yeah, a that's red like, car drives by. Have you ever had, yeah. like, that moment where, like, you dream of something, and the next day it happens? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that shit's crazy. Or, like, as weird as it is, because, you know, like, I have TikTok. I love that shit. Dude, uh, TikTok is the bomb. But I, there's, I also downloaded TikTok. There's <laughs> been people that have, like, been, like, um, my aesthetic is, and it'll flash, and it's, like, all these weird like abandoned rooms and people are commenting like I've seen these before I've seen these before and the whole speculation behind it is like these rooms that look like if you were like in an empty hospital before they ever set up desks or anything like that it's just the halls and shit yeah. is like you, every, all of us are in a simulation but the reason why we remember those is because they're brief times where our mind remembers being that's where like the simulation room is just and, like the simulations dude Imagine a simulation inside of a simulation on top oh of a simulation. God, dude. Oh, it's just like the whole matrix. Yeah. We're basically thing. living the Truman Show, is what I'm hearing. Ooh, yeah. So I guess, I guess when like it's a real thing though, like people actually believe that after oh, watching yeah. the Truman Show. I, d- I don't doubt it. You know. Wait, never mind. Oh. I don't know what I don't physically know what topics we're going right, into, right, but right, I just kind of like I'm like a quick segue where I'm right now as we're speaking. I thought of like two fucking things we could talk but about. But John, we're John, have you about. have you ever been able to? Uh, Oh, fuck. What a lucid dream. Oh. Um, I actually learned how to lucid dream. And it's it's actually... It's, it's, it's hard it's, for me to fall asleep and trying it. It's it really terrifying. Is. So, like, how you... How at least I taught myself to do it. There's a lot of different techniques. But the way that worked for me is, like, when you lucid dream, you got to... Think of something before you fall asleep. Don't you so also like, have to like kind of like move around? Not like, I mean, no, not, just you're not even supposed, supposed to. Move. Yeah, no? not, like well, you just like, like go to bed. But like right now, like the, like the thing I did was one time I did it with a, a red book. I was like, if I it was coincidental because you said a red car and that made me think of a red book. But like I was laying in bed, and I was just sitting there thinking about a red book because like have you ever had a, like 
there's like a story that like if like whatever you're watching on TV before you fall asleep sometimes goes into your dreams because yes. you're hearing it. I had that the so, other day actually. Yeah. yeah so yeah. like that's like the thing. Like, it's like going through your brain. So if you're thinking of like red book, red book, like then you see the second you see it in your dream, for some reason it lets you like your mind tells you like just so you know you thought about this before you went to bed. That's when you can start controlling. I've controlled dreams before. I've turned nightmares into regular dreams, but it's I don't do it all the time. It's not like something, oh, yeah, I can do this every night. Uh, there's yeah, been no. times where I've gotten very lucky to do it, and I think it's really cool. Um, same with, like, as weird as it sounds, but have you all ever heard of, like, astral projection? Yes. 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 So, I have not. No. You don't know what astral projection no, is? No, I've never so heard of it. So astral projection is leaving your own body while you're sleeping. So people have astral projected, and, like, where they're, like, they're sitting in the room looking at themselves sleep, or, like... They mm-hmm. astral project and go into like a different universe, or they go on. Mm-hmm. What? Um, uh, John, I, have you ever heard about this about the uh, the All Might um, library? No. About like when someone astral projects and then you can go to this library and like research any fact known in the universe. Oh yes, okay, I've heard of it. Yes, I don't know if it's exactly called the All Might uh, library, but I've heard like I don't I don't know if it's said either, but I've heard of that story. But at one time, apparently, accidentally astral projected. Oh. So there was a girl I was talking to, and at night, I, like, went to bed, and I had, like, this fucking... And to me, it was a dream, but, like, I literally, like, fucking, like, like I was just sitting there, and I was, like, staring at myself sleeping, and then I blinked, and when I, like, blinked in, like, my dreams, so I was just thinking it was a dream. I was... The girl I was talking to at the time, I was sitting at the foot of her bed. I've never been in her bedroom before, but I could see what? everything. I, this is on my mom's life. Like, I could see everything in her room. I was, like, looking around. I was sitting at the foot of her bed. Like, obviously, whoever's listening can't see, but, like, how I'm sitting yeah. right now, she was laying behind me, and she, like, woke up and, like, looked around and, like, stared me right in the eyes and, like, turned over and went back to bed. And then I, like, was, like, whoa. Like, I could see everything about her, like, detailed. And then, like, I woke up. And when I woke up the next morning, she, like, called me panicking. And I was, like, what's wrong? She goes, dude, I, she's, like, I woke up last night. And, like, I looked at the foot of my bed, and all I saw was you. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I was like, don't even fuck with me right now. I was like, please tell me, like, you're joking. She's like, no, swear to God. Like, because, like, I haven't, I didn't tell her that about my my, my dream. Yeah, and she I, didn't know. She, she, had she no called idea. you. She called me, and she's like, I swear to God. Like, I just saw, like, if we were to see a ghost, like, an outline of your body, but I could see every detail. And what I did was turned around and stared at her and looked back. She goes, I swear to God, I thought you died and you were coming to visit. I was like... Bro, I fucking wow. astral projected. And I was like, wait a minute. And I was like, do you have a shoe like a shoe rack in this part of your room? She goes, yes. I'm like, bro, I was oh in your room, dude. God. I was like, I was in your room, man. It was <laughs> fucking crazy. So, but also, too, if you think of it, like, if, if say, like, you randomly wake up in, like, the middle of the night. Like, imagine, like, that's maybe someone else astral projecting maybe i mean because you know maybe just that that little sudden like feeling of like something being there wakes you up in your sleep yeah so what if like someone that maybe you knew a while back did it and they were like oh well let me go let me go see this person you know just you know who knows like it's like little things like that that you can also like think about that is kind of really trippy you know and i mean yeah, like John, like that. <laughs> that it's like Crazy, really right? wild. Have you guys like I've, ever had like, like that goes into tell? Like, have you guys ever had like crazy dreams that like happen the next day or something like that? Any of you guys? Yeah, um, I, I've, or I've had like crazy stuff happen. Like I, like I almost, I like to be, like believe. Like I saw my dad's stroke coming. Okay, I mean, I believe that one hundred percent that you could do that. You could, you could technically like see into the future. I believe that person. I don't think everyone has to believe it, but that's what I believe in that. Like I, like I mean, I, I think the only way to believe it is if you, if it's happened to you. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But like, I, I just remember like just all day, like, and like I don't exactly remember it being like a stroke, perhaps like happening to my dad, but like I remember like little bits of parts of like my dad, like you know, going like I have a huge headache right now, like don't like in all like the little sounds like would just like bother him mm-hmm. and like and it happened and like i like i at like three o'clock in the morning my mom was like we're going to the hospital and then they found out that he had a stroke damn so but, like I you mean, know it's a dream though so you're not gonna think that it's yeah, actually like, gonna I, happen I, I it was, yeah. like, a dream mm-hmm. and then like and then it happened and i was like whoa like, what, like what 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 the fuck what about you jason yeah. nothing that i can remember okay well not that you can remember but like 
for you, I'll say, have you ever had like a really fucking like tweaky dream that made you wake up and you're like sitting there like trying to like like sitting there and be like like you've ever like woken up and be like trying to figure out if like you're in reality right now or not? Have you ever had something like that? You're also a like you also used to smoke, so I don't uh, you you probably had a lot of mellow dreams. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It's it's honestly I have to I have to sit and think because like I feel like it's happened, but. You're just one of the, you just maybe you're just one of those people dude, that can't I, remember. Dreams. I wake up I wake up in the middle of the night fairly often because <clears throat> now I my I have an alarm set for uh, for four thirty and then for five thirty just to let me know in an hour that I'm going to be going back. Yeah. So uh, sometimes I'll wake up at like two or three and just be like whoa, but sometimes I sleep with the TV on. Sometimes mm-hmm. I remember dreams, but there's there's really not that one specific thing. That I can remember. There was one where I know where I was a kid. <clears throat> and it was kind of a nightmare. And I I feel like I was lucid dreaming. But I didn't have complete control. But you had some control. Yeah. I feel like that happens with a lot of people. But like, like, they feel I like they control I feel themselves. like I took control though. Now that I think about it. Because uh, it, it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. Uh, I think I was 12 or 13 or something. And uh, I just got done watching The Dark Knight. Uh, with my cousins, the uh, Batman movie. Mm-hmm. A good movie. Yeah, it was a great movie. <laughs> but apparently, I was scared of the Joker at that time in the back of my mind. Was that the oh, one with man. Heath Ledger? Yeah. yeah. Dude, yeah. Heath Ledger's yeah. Joker, yeah. dude. Heath Ledger's Joker was chasing me around town. <laughs> dude, that'd be an oh, honor. Yeah. Yeah. I would love Heath yeah, Ledger. Yeah, you'd be like, you know what? Keep me, following dude. me. <laughs> and like, I saw like my cousins were in the dream who were in my house. Like, I found them. And then, like, as soon as I, I actually saw Heath Ledger's Joker, I was like, okay, you know, now let's do this, whatever, all that. Man. Interesting. How about so, you? So, for me, um, I guess the, the most recent dream that I had the other day that kind of, like, kind of really tripped me up. Um, so, like, you guys know like you guys know that I've been, like, single for, like, two years now. Yeah. Pretty much. That's um, sometimes we <laughs> do that, though. Yeah, you know, it's, it's nice, and it's been great. I love being single. But the thing is, is <laughs> when I had this dream, right, it, it wasn't, like, a sad dream. It was... It was more of like a like an emotional roller coaster type dream, but mm-hmm. like not a dream that I woke up like hysterically crying or anything. But um, they, they kind of like triggered you know the idea for like the podcast to talk about dreams and stuff because in the dream, um, they, I was I was with this girl at some kind of I think it was like some kind of library. I don't I don't know exactly if it was what a was library. What was the girl's name? Well, I Charlie. again, I <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll say her name is Charlie. I don't no, know. no, no, just throw out a real name. Uh, don't be I, no, shy. No, say literally, the there is no name. I don't no. even know this girl. Like she, she was a completely different girl. Like a girl that I've never seen before. But I mean, maybe my mind kind of captured like her face at just one point. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but I remember in the dream, um, we were at a library, and it was for some kind of like function, and. I'm in my dream must have been the same age as I am now and it was weird because I was like I'm looking for my family and I was walking through I was walking through the library and I said wow like I started laughing and I said you know I can't find my family like this is this is weird and this girl happened across my path and she's also laughing and she said I know right like I can't find my family either I, like you know this is it's funny that like we're on the same page here and I was like yeah and then we started like walking around the library for a bit and pretty much like having like one of those um i guess like kind of like movie i don't even know how, like what to call it like 2020 was a movie dude uh, 2020 is a nightmare 2020 right now. Two months along. And I have a hole in my sock. Oh. I just noticed. We we'll continue. Oh, nice. We're rudely <laughs> interrupting Frank right <laughs> yeah, now. Thanks. We're rudely interrupting. Hey, I Frank. just said one thing. <laughs> no. I just, my brain. But but pretty much in, in the just sum it up like because it was just kind of spotty. It was like first we were in this like library, then after that we ended up like a, like entering some kind of like grand hall of a cafeteria which was just really weird Mm -hmm. and we went to like sit down and we're talking we're laughing you know having like a really good time and stuff and it was just like one of those moments where like you know when when you decide to kind of just give up on like you know being with people and you just happen to just meet that one person that you connect with and it's like a in-person real like love connection type of thing and you know like wow, like, I, I really enjoy this person's, like, presence type of thing, you know, and it, it, it's, like, it was really insane, because, like, we hit it off so, like, so good and stuff, 
But, like, it, it also occurs to me that, like, what if that's telling the future? Like, maybe this girl that uh, I don't that remember. Yeah, like, th- this could happen, you know, maybe years down the line, months down the line. Well, let's who knows? be real here. Frank, we'll when are you going to find yourself in a library? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, exactly. Uh, I, I'm never a library <laughs> card. <laughs> I don't go to the library. I don't read <laughs> books. Check me. <laughs> He's like, I got this. But that thing, though, maybe <laughs> one day. Yeah, I find some myself. reason you're going to wake up and be like, oh, like. Say, like, your printer doesn't work or your computer stopped working. Yeah. Like, like, oh, maybe I need to go to the library for something. And that that could all play an effect. It could be. You never, you never John, know. we did that, like, last year when we went to the library. What yeah, did, yeah what did you guys? We, we, had, we had to print out concert tickets. And that oh. was, like, my first time being in a library since I was in, like, second grade. Wow. Dude, weird. I can't remember the last time I was in a library, to but be honest. But since yeah. we're real quick, before we, like, segue into a different topic, yeah. um, I got, like, this one should be a quick one. Do you guys know the 3 a.m. thing? No. no. Have you guys ever woken up at like 3 a.m. randomly? Yes, yes. So do you know what that is? All the time. I don't. So like, I do it a lot. So technically, in like, I don't know like what term this would be, but like the way it goes is like if you like the 3 a.m. is like I wouldn't say the devil's hour, but it's like technically like the time where like it's not like the gates, but like, I don't know. My mom would be able to word it better, but like where everything's like the the oh, what is it the um, Oh god, I'm blanking. Um, <laughs> it's like the afterlife. Those people, yeah, it's their strongest connection through Earth. Oh. So they're like that gateway is the most open, so they could connect or come through. So and most, or they call it the Devil's Hour, where and, at know, three a.m. if you're waking up, typically weird shit happens. Where like, have you ever woken up randomly right in the middle of the night and like you feel like you see someone in the back of your room, but it's like a towel or some shit? Oh yeah, and yeah. It's typically around that time you'll see that shit, and like that's the time where I'll wake up at like three twelve. And the worst time, it, like for me, like the reason why I hate it is because when I wake up at that time, I have to like pee or I'm really thirsty and I don't want to walk around my house at all. But it's cool that like I know that you guys have the 3 a.m. thing too. I'm sure there's a lot of my, people that do it, but and, and my mom, like, and this always happens at like 3 a.m. too, where she'll just wake up and start screaming and thinking that her her dad, my grandpa, is standing over her. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's the when the gateway is the most open. So that could be him trying to communicate. That's what I think of at least. Like I like that dream stuff. I could go on for days because the amount of dreams I know of, like, are people visiting me in my dreams, or like the story about like my my dad's brother after he passed away visiting him in a dream, and my dad can remember every last bit of it. Like I've had weird shit like happen with my family and stuff like that. But um, I don't know. Do you guys want to? continue on this topic or do you guys want to segue into something else and keep going no we can we can segue into something <laughs> side, else side note uh ella just messaged me on uh snapchat she goes frank can borrow my library card <laughs> <laughs> last time was totally t- <laughs> it you know it, <laughs> it's type <laughs> it's just it's it's crazy because i mean we can't let if? someone borrow it because that's just trying no. to push towards yeah that. exactly yeah, you're you forcing it reality naturally. and it has to be natural and you hear that ella it happens, it happens <laughs> naturally <laughs> But, like, if you think of it, like, I, I could always meet someone that maybe, you know, say, like, say I'm going out with a girl, right? And, you know, we're we're all good and stuff. And she says, oh, I got to go to the library. Well, like, you know, we could go to the library. But what if she was the ticket to having me meet the someone sex. else? Yeah. Or- <laughs> the, tickle, the ticket to the booty. <laughs> yeah. No, no. But, yeah, I mean, what if? You know, it, it's, it's like a chain reaction of things. But, um, yeah. I think, um, well, I, don't, I want I want your guys' outlook on something. Because like I told you, like, Tyler, I know you have your notes and everything planned out. Oh, I, I, mean, I didn't prepare anything because... My notes are just in case we run on Yeah, so, stuff. like, I got one. And I already know most people's answers to this. But, aliens. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts? I, I, like, I want to go one-on-one. Like, everyone takes turns. Okay. Like... What are your thoughts on it? If we'll, we can start down the line. If I want to start, or if like Frank wants to start, and I'll be the live, whatever way. Like, who, who wants to start? All right, so I, I could start. That's fine. Um, the guy that wants to talk all the time. <laughs> yeah, kidding. well, <laughs> the uh, guy with the YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, no. <laughs> I, no, everyone's gonna have a chance to talk and stuff. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. So as far as aliens and stuff, I I truly think that they are real. I think that there is definitely like extraterrestrial life, you know, that we don't know about. That I think the government is hiding, and you know, That's with the, the whole thing, Area Fifty One. Like, you, did you hear that the government released information on it? But was it all of it or so, some? So this is what happened. So 
um, there's this guy named. He, do you know Blink One Eighty Two? Yeah, yeah. So th- there's the, there's their guitar player and almost main vocalist uh, Tom DeLonge, mm-hmm. and he started um, a TV show, and it's about fi- it's like finding UFOs and everything like that. He found a video because like he talked to like some former like someone that worked for the government. I think it was like in the UK the guy was from or something like that. I, I could be wrong. I'm not. You guys could fact check me. I don't know. But it was he was from some other country. I'm pretty sure. And he had a video, and the video was like a government like 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 a like a thermal camera, and mm-hmm. it caught like this UFO swinging back and forth, and it was like like you see the ones on YouTube, and it's like it just looks fake. Like oh, that yeah, was like, like some weird CGI. weird shit, and he posted it, and it blew up, and like the government ended up being like, listen, like they came out on the news and we're like we're not even gonna lie to you guys anymore like or hide it like there is like actual terrestrial life we have caught some area 51 does have it like they just straight out like came out and told which that was like the biggest thing that had like, going like going like starting in the 2020 ended up happening was that getting released that was like the first thing to get talked about in 2020 which most people like surprisingly didn't know that got happened like i was reading through facebook one day and i saw it and i was like oh this is probably one of those bullshit fucking news articles yeah. it was like a confirmed news page like all like their quotes like youtube videos of like them like going live on the news and talking about it like straight up were, like listen like area 51 we have caught ufos we have them mm-hmm. and i don't know it could have been like yeah like then they started releasing like like government videos and showing like videos of like what they've caught like nothing like up close and personal but like shit they've shot like saw like shooting across the sky and like when they were like like when they go to the moon like the shit that they've encountered and shit like that and I was like holy fuck like they finally came out and said it and like I understand why people want to hide like why they'd want to hide it from us like look at right now like how people are freaking out over the coronavirus yeah. because of news now imagine if they released that how crazy people would go oh yeah imagine like people would same. really try to go after that government and try to really see it for their own eyes like when that whole what's what's raid area 51 bullshit happened yeah. and it got hyped up like they obviously like if i know it's government property but if they weren't hiding something they would have like tourist pass like yeah come look through area 51 <laughs> yeah no there's something in there that they don't want to see and they, they've they've came out like they have like netflix series and shit of like guys that have like worked for the government yeah that have brought out information and, like the uh, government have come to their doors and shit and told, Yes. 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 Thank you. I was Bob trying to think Luzer. of his name. Um, that guy, like, was able to, like, he was talking about, was, like, people were like, oh, you're bullshitting. He's like, oh, yeah. He's like, when when I was in the government, there was a fingerprint thing where, like, you'd put your hand on it and, like, these feet, like, these prongs would, like, match up to your fingers. And no one understood what he was talking about. No one's like, that doesn't exist. That doesn't exist. Yeah. Someone gave him the photo of it and, like, is this what you're talking about? And he goes, exactly. And he's like, He's like, well, if you know what this is, that that proves that you've worked for the government and worked for us because that's what we have and no one else has it. Because you know the government obviously has technology that we don't have. Oh, yeah, exactly. 100%. They're, they're hoarding they technology. they gave us that shit, what we could do with it. Yeah. You know. But your guys' thoughts on the UFO. Yeah, so what do you, what do you guys think? Um, aliens are lit. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. There was, uh, there's been too many times to where... Uh, when I used to smoke, I would I would go home. Of I, course, you'd be high as fuck, <laughs> dude. I just I just be watching stuff about aliens. And yeah, you know, the everyone claims the link to the people who smoke. You know, oh aliens. You know, fuck boomers, whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, fuck boomers. <laughs> uh, but uh, dude, I would go home and watch it, and just like everything on it, you just take bits and pieces from each thing that you see, and you kind of just piece by piece, piece timelines together, and you realize that the more and more the government's hiding, the more and more that there's likely the thing that pisses me off, the thing that pisses me off about it in the universe is that like the fact. I mean, the fact that like we'll never know in our lifetime at least what the government's hiding. We will never know, and people that no, there it's slowly coming, but there's gonna always be something that we don't know about. Yep, and that's what pisses me off is like. The only way you'll ever know is if you work for the government, and that's sworn in a secrecy where if you ever get caught speaking about that shit and you worked for the government, like, they just come for you. Oh, you, yeah. You know the amount of people that have just gone missing because of that shit? Yeah. Like, hey, and they can so get one guy would it. come out and they're like, they'd be like, oh, hide my face, like, I'll speak in secrecy. Why wouldn't the government be able to find it? The government's able to, like, track us right now. The government could be listening to this before we're even posting it somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And that's just the thing that's, like, crazy. Is like, that's what pisses me off that we'll never fucking know. And the whole, like, it's kind of blows my mind that people that even, like, 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 the fact that someone could come up to me right now and be like, aliens don't exist. We are one small Milky Way in galaxy. 
in a whole bunch. When you go up to space, it doesn't end. It's consecutive. You're yeah, gonna tell me we're the only fucking thing out there. No. Yeah, it's Milky indefinite. Way. Like the it goes forever and ever and ever to infinity and so. beyond. <laughs> so I mean, it, there's definitely, definitely, you know, some, definitely. some, <laughs> something out there. Right, but, but yeah. So what what are your guys' yeah, go, thoughts? Go ahead. Um, I I basically said me, you do you. Yeah, so Tyler, what what do you what do you I think? I agree with Jason. And another thing too, when you watch a bunch of documentaries like that, you start to like realize too how much like one story and another story match up, and like like you and that might come out and say that, or they might not be like name drop that or anything like that. But like um, when they realize Bless that you. uh, like you know, like someone can say one story, and it could be like you know some just like some random facts about aliens. And then someone else can come out with like a documentary or something like explaining that and hit all of those facts. And it, it, it's insane just to think about that and how, you know, and like what John was saying, how like, you know, the universe never stops. And it just continues going on and on and on. We, we cannot be the only ones that have, you know, the perfect like distance from the sun and have life and you know we're able to do all this stuff and be able to live so i'm sorry for laughing there are infinite <laughs> galaxies how could we be the anomaly <coughs> the reason why shout out little dicky the reason why i'm laughing is because i don't think you'll hear it but <laughs> you, you might have heard it that you, like frank had to sneeze so he backed away from the like the mic and like covered his face and like it was really quiet sneeze but you just hear me go bless you like it was just like this most Oh, great. Ella, Ella, I have a question for you. What? Go back in your room, right? No, 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 no. Seriously, seriously. What do you think about Pangea? This bitch don't know about Pangea. <laughs> <laughs> I have you have no idea. You, you don't know what Pangea know about, is? Pangea. No. Like, you're dead serious. Uh, come, come closer to the mic. There, here. Sit, sit, and you will be educated. I'm terrified. Oh, wait, but speaking of aliens... Who? I heard Jill talk about aliens. She's going to awkwardly sit on my lap. Uh, I've gained weight. Okay. Oh, um, speaking of aliens, I feel like we're already a racist people overall, so I worry <laughs> if we find the aliens. It's not That's what I was going to well. talk about. Like, do you think the human mind or the, the human society could, could like comprehend coming in contact with aliens no, at all? No, I think all. they'd freak out. I think that would send like everyone into like, panic. Mass chaos. So that's God. probably the reason why they, they're hiding, they're it. hiding it because it's not it's not ready for the public. I mean, you look at the coronavirus. I mean, that, that came out. That That's not even as bad as the regular flu. And look how people are reacting. Imagine a freaking spaceship coming out of nowhere. Alien walks out. Whole world... Just go. That's gonna AWOL. literally be a little dicky music video playing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, guys, like, what do you think aliens would look like? Because we have so many different so the, the most, like, creations. Okay, so I in think movies and TV shows and just in your mind, it's no, embedded okay. that aliens are gonna be some weird creature. So in my mind, I mean, I think there's one basic stereotype of what an alien looks like—a weird, skinny, gray thing with a big ass head. Big um, I feel like that's like obviously someone got that mind from something like no one just thinks that's what they're gonna look like yeah that was guaranteed probably what some of them look like but who doesn't say like that they look just like us that's true what if they are just they're human because technically to to any other species that is out there we're a fucking alien to them yeah an alien is technically like something something that's that's not not from here yes so it's an alien like when like they say like mexicans are aliens it's because they're not from here they're not they're residents, they're not you know, US from citizens, Mexico yeah. coming to and it's America. like they look just like us. Like, Fuck ice. Uh, <laughs> I'm a, I honestly was about to correct you and be like, don't you mean ISIS? <laughs> I mean, fuck them too, but two completely different things, <laughs> two very bad things, yeah. but in very different ways, very bad. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I mean, so this bitch don't know about Benji, <laughs> dude. That was not the answer I was expecting, honestly. <laughs> well, what are your thoughts on Pangea, Jason? Who the fuck just knocked, bro? That was probably my knee hitting this. No, no bro. That was a you knock, bro. No, bro, no, please tell no, me no. someone heard that shit. No, I can't. No, it's you're scaring friend. me. No, bro. No, that no, Someone no, just knocked no, up in this bitch. No. You're what, scaring me what because you... I hear it all the time. No one else had to do it. Yo, bro. Dead ass. Hold up. Can okay. you guys shut up? It's the fridge. Listen, I just heard. No, it always Tell sounds no. the fridge. Dude. I, I did yeah, not hear that the, at all. It's the fridge. Yeah, it's a You're telling me there's just a body in your fridge knocking? Yeah. Yes. It's like a condenser. <laughs> condenser. No. Jason, Jason knows no, what he's talking about. It's on the other side. 
side too, oh, okay. so maybe people are just being. No, shitty. I'm just trying to fuck with your mind to be honest. Oh no, my I god! I want you to go to bed. Dude, every really every time I leave this place, I'm like, I say, bye, Ella. bye, Casper. <laughs> Bro, honestly, I would hate living alone. Oh that yeah, it's, it's, no, it's honestly the best thing ever, dude. Living on your own. Oh, Mr. I got my own place. I bought a new car. Fuck. Oh, oh Mr. God. I love my daddy. <laughs> Mr. I love my daddy, my superhero. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so let's, let's 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 change the topics. Do you guys want to go into coronavirus? Oh um, man, I, I think that's already. E three was canceled. I, you yeah. guys can. I don't. I don't know okay. what E3 is. Thanks. I don't care for it, to be honest. Right. Yeah, you guys can go ahead for that one. Hey, if, but, dude, without E3, you wouldn't know if there was PS4, PS5, Xbox. I, I blame it, though. I think without that, I think that's just without commercials, I wouldn't have known. Without being a human and going out exactly, inside. Exactly, but, but it all gets first announced at E3. Yeah, fair enough. Yes. Well, that's, that's your guys' subject. I just See, buy stuff to play with people. John, you have a PC? Yeah. And this has to oh, go no along. shit. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this has to go along with like you know everything that's getting canceled, like especially like the you know NHL and the, yeah, the NHL. That's the biggest sport that was canceled. <laughs> hey, no, funny, listen, dude. hey, listen. We had the NHL. Dude, we had I March Madness. Isn't crazy. allowed to have fans. Dude, uh, they scored I, I heard something saying that uh, the NCAA canceling like March Madness. Cancels out eighty five. Well, that's of the thing. They're not for they're, the whole year. Well, they're not canceling oh, out March yeah. Madness. They're canceling out fans at those games. No, John, they completely canceled the tournament. Really? Yeah. Well, they did the fucking basketball. That one basketball league had like five people. With cor- our team had like uh, five NBA, people with coronavirus. Yeah. Wait, did you guys? Did you guys the, see the, the video? The has only a two, but I, I don't <laughs> know. No, 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 no. That was the there was only two people. And then other people contracted it. There was like four or five people from the team that ended up getting it. I didn't hear anything about that. Yeah, I mean, I believe. And it. And they freaked out because like you know, you think someone has it, and you don't know. Listen, I'm still gonna go with it. I survived coronavirus already. Oh, jeez. You want you want want to hear my logic behind how I know I survived it? I, I mean, or we could talk about E3. <laughs> no, I, real quick. All real right, quick, right, we're going to go, go back into E3. But I survived coronavirus. All right. I, I, I could say me and Lauren both survived it because my mom sent me this today. And it's a post. And it says, quick question, everyone. Who got sick in November or December and it lasted 10 to 14 days with the worst cough that wouldn't go away? It was horrible. If you can answer yes, then you probably had the coronavirus. There were no tests and the flu test would come back negative anyway. They called it a severe upper respiratory infection. You guys lived through that. Quit letting the media control you. Now give me, give me back my toilet paper, sports parades, etc. Back in Back around that time, me and Lauren both got like super fucking sick. But like obviously I still had to work because I can't take sick days for work. Yeah. So I like granted I already vape like they already told people like if you vape or smoke you're more prone not to coronavirus well it's one of them but like any any disease or anything you're more prone to because your lungs are already tampered with yeah but I had respiratory problems and so did Lauren like where we like it would hurt to cough like it was hard to fucking breathe we were sick as shit I thought I had the flu she went into the hospital and got checked I, I think it was the hospital but she went and got checked and they were like. They tried diagnosing her with the flu, and she's like, they're like, you don't have the flu, but we don't know what you have. So I understand, like, the whole coronavirus thing came from, like, people in that, and was that China were eating, like, fucking bats and shit, and yeah. it is an animal-related virus. It comes from animals. Dude, that sounds like but, a sick Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ozzy Osbourne <laughs> probably had the fucking shit and never even noticed. That dude was biting off bats, real bats, for he the longest time, and then switched drugs, to, yeah. So. That's true. Any of those drugs probably canceled out coronavirus. Exactly. Hardcore. <laughs> Who were to say that they're just now finding out about it, but who says around that time that they didn't know that it was a thing because they couldn't do any tests to figure out what it was? Exactly. And you know what's crazy is that my my dad told me that back, literally we were in the car talking about the coronavirus, like trying to, you know, like, you know, like realize the severity of it. And he was telling me that, you know, he's like, oh, well, hopefully, you know, I don't get it because I'm, you know, I'm older older, and I'm more prone and stuff. But he literally told me actually in the car that, like in November, December, he said, "Man, I I've been having this cough for like about a month, month I still and a have half." The cough. Yeah, and he and he's telling me that. And now that you're saying that, that's kind of scary because if I told him, uh, no. I don't know what his reaction would be. Because it's just because the reason you know, why I'm not, I, I wouldn't have it. I but it they they like did state they that if you did have it, or what? like for technically, yeah. like if you have it right now, I don't need you're like, it's like I mean, long time effects. So if you have, like, no matter what, the coronavirus, even if you cure from it, you will still have long-time respiratory effects. So that's, like, what me and Lauren think had happened is we got it. But, like, ever since then, I've had, like, a hurting cough. Like, I've always had keep constantly having, like, mucus built up. And I've never had that before. 
and that's not like because like most people that have it are like 104 degree fever oh, like, yeah. and all that shit. I have never had a fever that high before, and at least since I was a kid. But I think if you had coronavirus, I think it said that you have a dry cough. That's wasn't what it? it is. But so, I also get mucus build up randomly. Oh, but I mean, you don't. I'm get not that. saying it's not confirmed that I had coronavirus. Oh, no, no, but but I mean, like people are like, oh my god, coronavirus. If you literally look at the back of a Lysol can and it shows what like Lysol disinfects, it literally says human coronavirus on it. You guys, you guys need to realize that when when something is discovered, people can make new labels and just add. Something no, to because it. it's it. Lysol's always had it. Because I've had a Lysol can for fucking forever now that because mom was trying to find shit yeah. and that was that's one of the Lysol cans that I found had that on the back of it still that's one of the weird things I don't know See, I didn't because have... it's a virus any like Ebola's could have been around forever but I still feel like social media is blowing up the coronavirus more than it is like like if you look all the people that are freaking out and buying all the hand sanitizer and shit if you've noticed because they say the flu is still worse and there's more deaths from the flu than there is coronavirus mm-hmm. the, the, the amount of people that have had the flu has gone down dramatically because just people figuring out because look it took the coronavirus yeah, to get people, people to the, yeah to yeah, yeah it took the coronavirus it took a social media scare to get people to fucking wash their hands or people sanitize wash their teeth twice a day. exactly yep. like <laughs> some people decided to finally wipe their ass that's why they're buying toilet paper now no one's fucking fingerprinting elevens they found out what toilet paper is yeah <laughs> people are like damn you can clean that? Yeah. I don't have to use a towel anymore. What? <laughs> I don't have to use the face towel that my mom uses yeah, to wash her face. Those beach towels. <laughs> you, you guys don't clean it with the faucet? <laughs> what, is that, a, what is that called? A bidet? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those are sick. Imagine getting water shot up your asshole. I mean, dude, I it really would be. Want I want to. Dude, honestly, I saw someone do it. They're like, and they're like, hey, fuck toilet paper. He took his top of his shower head that had the oh, hose and duct taped it, duct taped it to the seat <laughs> so he could just turn on his fucking shower and spray up in his ass. Oh, my God. <laughs> Boom. Logic. Let's do it. We're all going to try it. Next vlog. <laughs> Next vlog. <laughs> Next vlog. DIY bidet. <laughs> Dude, the pressure from your from your shower would probably be really freaking good i might like it i mean it might <laughs> it might literally it on like the hardest water jet setting like... but that's what a bidet is damn near it's not but like I mean... it's not like turning on a sink because you have to have that upwards pressure but so the, it's a but force but the thing is john it's not a, a bidet is basically just a water stream to fit in your asshole a it doesn't fit head. in your asshole it's <laughs> <A shower laughs> <head laughs> like <laughs> squeeze your ass onto a sink faucet dude <laughs> a bit a shower head is designed to go around your whole asshole. Yeah, I, yeah that's perfect. It's I, washing the cheeks so and everything. Why are you taking just... straight so you love to wipe your cheeks after Bro, you I just your... poop in, <laughs> hey, listen, I just poop in the bath and mush it and let it go down the drain. <laughs> he <laughs> smashes it with his foot. I play with it. It's like play doh. Oh, okay, all right. No, look, I made a house. Is that your shit? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Ever seen a, it's a what is it? It's a dolphin on wheels. It's a fucking dick. You ever <laughs> seen that video? The girl that made the play doh, and she goes, "Oh, what is that?" The mom's like, "Oh, what is that?" She goes, "It's a dolphin on wheels or a dolphin on a Segway," and it's literally just a dick. <laughs> Ever seen a fucking dick? Like it had the head, it had balls, and she goes, "It's a dolphin on wheels." <laughs> oh, that that's great, honey. Oh, I'm so glad. great. But can you hang it on the fridge? Probably not. <laughs> but probably not a good idea. She just takes it and just stamps Starts- it on the fridge. <laughs> And just leave. Mommy, the why do you have my dolphin on wheels in your room? <laughs> None of your business, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's for uh, d- uh, Daddy and Mommy. We just really toy appreciate time. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's for Daddy and Mommy Play Doh time. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Um, uh, let's jump. You guys, let's go back to E3. Let's, yeah, I, I'm yeah, sorry so, we segued so hard uh, after that. I'm so sorry. So, wait. so one of the biggest, like, I, it, it starts with a meme. But um, <laughs> I saw one of these memes that was like E3's canceled because imagine a bunch or a giant convention with uh, gamers who don't wash themselves. Oh man, that's <laughs> and, true. Um, yeah. yeah, dude, nothing but Mountain Dew and Cheeto dust on their fingertips. Exactly. <laughs> Where are you going? Outside. What the fuck? Uh, you gotta take the bar out. Dude, oh, some bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll we'll pause because no no no. We can keep yeah, we can, we can. well because y'all, you're just gonna hear. No, no. Okay. All right. <laughs> Did this uh, you just start hearing gunshots? Also, oh, boom, <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Freaking out, shit. Also, too, this is a good night, time to announce the um, uh, that we are doing this in, our, in the same room with each other. So uh, yeah. So if yeah. if the audio <laughs> if the audio is just like. Good or bad? I don't know yet. Well, you don't know how this is going to end Yeah, up. I really don't. We just kind of just guessed. I, I brought the technology. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> this is my f- <laughs> this is my first day here. I don't even go here. <laughs> yeah, 
So, um, anyway, so I just wanted to, you know, break off real quick and uh, talk about the, um, the scheduling for this podcast um, and say that we are going to try and upload um, every Sunday at 10 a.m. Wait, so wait, are you telling me that, like, we're not going to have this podcast on, like, SoundCloud tonight? Uh, I'm probably going to upload it to SoundCloud. SoundCloud, tonight. okay, cool. Because I definitely um, want to listen to but it. But SoundCloud is whenever, you know, I get done editing it. I'll, I'll upload it to that. But on the YouTube channel, on my YouTube channel... Um, it's taking all the it's, clout. Yeah, right? Yeah, I mean... No, I mean, it is on the channel. It's going to be uploaded at uh, 10 a.m. every Sunday. So, uh, you know, make sure to uh, you know tune in around that time or... You know, if you're driving, you know, listen to it and enjoy and uh, watch out for that car. Are we done? Goodbye. <laughs> My name's Jason. Um, <laughs> okay, I think like if we can continue on E3, or I got I got a question for everybody. All right, let's hear um, it. It, I, I, it's, it's, I think it's honestly. <laughs> make his pocket <laughs> sir. <laughs> um, <laughs> also, Jason saw your ass crack that whole time you were doing that. Thanks for that. <laughs> No. Um, My ass. <laughs> what the fuck is that? My ass. <laughs> hey, Doofy, smell my fingers. <laughs> what is that? That's, that's the smell of being a man. man. It smell mine. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what is that? My <laughs> ass. <laughs> um, I, I think... Um, I don't know what that liquid just came from. <laughs> um, okay, I think now, like, now that we're all settling back in... Okay. Um, it's been a minute since we've all seen each other in person. Yes. Um, or really communicate. I mean, Jason just is always a part because he's on Discord all the time with me because of Call of Duty. But what, what's been going on in everyone's life recently? Like, I, like, I kind of like going to go one by one and like, like any like updates, like shit you've been doing better for yourself. Like granted, 2020 is going, it's a funky year already because all the bullshit social yeah. media wise that's happening. But like, that doesn't mean that you're having your own self, like self growth. So like. Someone just got murdered upstairs, but yeah, like let's start like 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 I think we're gonna go in this direction. Okay. Like, so we'll we start all asking ask you right now. Yeah, we we can lights yeah, up. We <laughs> could all like ask each other questions if we want, but like let's start with you, Tyler. Like, what's been going on with you? Like, oh man, I've had a crazy year so far. So um, I got a new job. Oh, yeah. uh, I work in a warehouse. How's that going? Uh, it's it's going pretty good. It's a really easy job. Um, all I do is just go around, pick packages, and put them on a pallet, and then turn that pallet in, and then go do the same thing all over again. Um, super easy. It pays, you know, decent. Um, and I can you know definitely do a lot more stuff now. Uh, it, it was able to get me a new mic, a you know better PC. <laughs> A bunch of other shit. So it, it's paying. It's paying for a lot of good stuff. Um, I'm enjoying it though. Uh, but that's pretty much the only good thing that's happening. Really, so nothing far. else. But, I mean, uh, okay. There's Ouch. another. There's another thing. <laughs> <laughs> Ella's like, what the? She's fuck? She's like, all that? right, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> another thing that's happening is that you know my brother. Congratulations on getting a new house. Um, he just moved out. So he's not yeah, house, so yeah, Tyler's brother. Will <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, um, but hey, that's a benefit on your end because you got a bedroom. Yes, yes. It's the first time in 23 years that I have my own bedroom. It sounds yes. like this guy right here, Frank. Look at you. Yeah. My name I don't gotta sleep in the doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> no, I still have to do that. So is that that's like that's like your big thing you got going on for you right now? Yeah, I mean it's pretty casual and that you know just chilling, hanging out with Ella and. Um, wow. What? Pretty casual. <laughs> no, All right, Ella, time for you to go back in your bedroom. <laughs> um, that's Let's cool. Hard quarter. <laughs> um, do you do you wanna do you wanna? And you can intertwine in this, Ella, if you want. Me? Yeah. Like, what's been going on with you? Um. So I was broke in 2019. Hell yeah! I think we all were. And still then broke now. <laughs> I got a second job, and I'm still broke. <laughs> so I'm glad Tyler got a good job because he fed me like two meals today. Hey. Wow, hey. damn, bro! You're feeding me. You're feeding me. Feed me. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? I don't get food. Hey, you eat. We all eat. What the fuck? So I'm doing pretty well for myself. I that's think. that's good. I feed her, and then when yeah. she's at her job, I'll come over and take the trash out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you know See, what? And also, boyfriend of the year. Yeah, boyfriend material right there. there. I'm talking about Ella, not you, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about? I I'm excited for Jason because I know Jason's done a whole drastic yeah. like, 360 yeah, in your life. Honestly, oh yeah. Good. And I I that's what I love about. Jason, honestly, is like we always joke around with Jason about like his shit. Like, I mean, you go, you went from being what like you used to smoke all the time. Like, we all just chilled, and then like you finally came to that realization. Like, yeah, right, right, right now, like fuck school. Like, I want to do something that makes me money, and I'll do my own shit. And like, what did that end up being? Like, what did you end up doing? Um, I'm a stationary engineer. 
Hell yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, HVAC, heating and air, know all about it. Not really, but I'm still learning you're still, about Well, how long have you been there so far now? Are you out Three of your... Three months. Your, Three months. And you're still... Um, what would they call that? Your uh, apprenticeship? Apprentice. Yeah. And how long do you have to be an apprentice for? Two years. Which is actually not that that's, bad. That's, that's not bad at all. Two years, two years is not the, bad at all. It's the shortest one. Wow. Then it's, it gives you a really good time frame to really make sure that's what you want to do. I mean, you don't ever have to go back to college, or that will give you the benefit of I doing... Do. I, I'm starting to pay off my student loans that I own now. Hell yeah. I'm going to be done by the Listen, end of There's year. a lot of people, mm-hmm. and that's what sucks. Like, there was someone, and it's bringing back to TikTok, that posted a thing about getting accepted into a union. And people are like, wow, it's really, like, someone commented, like, wow, it's really sad that people still think that unions help you. I was like, oh my do gosh. you understand, Jeez. like, how many people I know that are going to, that are in college debt, are going to be in college debt when they, like, when they graduate for the next, like, 15 years? And I'm doing just fine, like, with my union and, like, the shit I do. I mean, I make great money. I'm not saying I like what I do 100%, but I know a lot of people that would kill for my fucking job. And that's like my lucky thing like that I got to end up doing. So like it's so great seeing like Jason go from like you could just tell at least in my eyes. Dude, I was Jason, I was doing that for so long. I was trying to to get in for so long. Yeah, I I remember like all the times me and Jason would hang out and like I don't want to jab too much at you or into your personal life as much, but like you could tell like Jason wasn't happy. And, like, oh, that's what sucks is, like, I used to sit there and, like, you could just see, like, fucking school was beating the shit out of him. Like, he felt like all he really was doing was, like, at the time, at least, when this was all happening, was, like, school, uh, Pizza Pete, and, like, if you weren't doing those two... <laughs> we we name-dropped again. Yeah, it's okay. You were sitting at... You were not saying... I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say I'm not saying Pizza Pete's a bad place. I don't know I if... Am. But, but... And then, like, you'd be at home. And I remember, like, we used to talk all the time. You would tell me, like, dude, like, this shit sucks, like, and all that. And, like, I'm not trying to go well, too yeah, deep dude, into your I, shit. I never but had any days off, and, like... I just felt like you were constantly going, and that's draining. Oh, yeah, dude, I... Yeah. I never stopped. That was the thing. And like I, I noticed. I, I never went on vacation. I think I went on vacation once when I when I worked there, and that was when I was in high school, and I was dating uh, Sarah, and we uh, we went to Florida. I remember, I remember that, that. Yeah. Wait, because what's? I, I remember that because the next week Sam went to Arizona for two weeks, and I was the only one there for two weeks because Tyler quit. <laughs> Wait, what, what? was was yeah, dude, when you were just working Sundays and you were at Sign Outlet? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. again, no, Sign. No. <laughs> Wait, so Jason, so what was Sarah the girl that worked at that one breakfast slash lunch place that I went with you guys? Single? No, 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 I'm not. No, <laughs> not at all. I know. I'm just trying to figure. <laughs> Jeez, no, I'm just trying, I'm trying to figure to, it out. I'm trying not to get too much into my dating life. Cause yeah, no, I'm probably gonna watch this, but no. <laughs> I'll um, go. But like okay. honestly, like like that was like out of all of us, like I know. Tyler and Frank, like, I know you guys have had, like, had your head on straight for a decent amount of time. Like, I know Tyler wants to do his shit. I know you got yourself your own place and all that shit, and you can feel free to still talk about that. But, like, with Jason being so close and, like, me knowing Jason for so long, like, that was my greatest thing was seeing Jason's mood change. Like, 100%, like, because I knew how badly he wanted this job, and I remember him talking about it for so long. Like, I'm supposed to get this, I'm supposed to get this, like, I'm going to stop smoking weed. Like, I saw the dedication to how badly he wanted it and how badly, like, he wanted to better his life, and that's what I like seeing because I know, like, I feel like out of our group, he had the biggest 360 out of all of us, honestly. Yeah. And I'm not trying to, like, suck his fucking cock or make you guys seem <laughs> well, like you guys well, aren't yeah, doing I, anything I better. Yeah, I, was, I was one of, you know, the only few of our friends to really go away to college. Yeah. And uh, besides Austin, and he graduated, which is awesome. But yeah. Um, I, they, they, sadly, he couldn't be here tonight. Yeah. yeah he, he followed his plan all the way through. I stopped my... <laughs> What, oh, yeah. I never yeah. stopped going to school though. What about what about you, so Frank? You can... Oh man, for me. Okay, well, um, yeah, like uh, I said before, I'm still single. So <laughs> 20, going into 2020, still single. Um, other than that, um, I pretty much, uh, yeah, I just been working a lot of hours at work. Um, I recently I, I redid my entire room. Um, pretty much I, have been in my apartment for about like two years and, uh, my, my room before was really freaking trash. It was, it was really bad. It, it had literally a bed, a cabinet, and that was it. There was nothing in it. So I never wanted to be in my room, but, um, you know, I took the steps to pretty much just redo the entire thing and, uh, you know, just kind of make it like my own, um, you know, space to just do what I want, which is, you know, just relax and you know just be myself and you know have my computer and tv and just kind of like you know live my life not saying like live my life entirely in my room you know but 
you know, most people are like, oh, yeah, it's just my room, whatever. It's just, you know, it's a room. I go, I sleep in there, blah, 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 you know. But, like, it, it's it's something that I've always dreamed of having because, I mean, I've, I've had a room for, like, a couple years. And then as soon as I moved out, um, then I officially had a room, kind of like in Tyler's situation. I was, like, just getting his room now. That was literally me. I, I slept on a couch for about 14 years and then, I mean, the other half was, like, when I was little, you know, like, sleeping on a regular bed, you know, because as a kid, I'm, you know, my parents were like, you're not sleeping on a couch, you know, period, so. That slightly <laughs> changed eventually. Uh, yeah, it, it slightly <laughs> changed. <laughs> they were you like, well, not sleeping on a couch eventually. <laughs> they were like, yeah, I think everyone you're growing up enough. It, you know. Everyone does it. Yeah, exactly. So, but I mean, um, you know, other than that, um, pretty much uh, for right now, I think I've just been kind of focusing on myself a lot, you know. Of course, everyone I mean, it's to do that. definitely, it's definitely been a while since, you know, I've been with someone but i think it's really for the better um i don't need to rush that shit no exactly and you know it's just it's just something that you know you just wait it out bitch yes (laughs) i agree um i did actually apply to the uh the plumbers union downtown um so i'm waiting on test results uh, to see if i made it in or not um well i hope that works out for you yeah I, i really hope it does that'd be awesome um yeah other than that i mean not really too much um 2020 and uh yeah I'm just, still in the beginning of 2020 yeah but i like john said you know with jason stuff like i mean me and me and tyler are like you know really really close yeah. and john and jason are really really close you know but i mean we have like a joint group together and stuff but you know it's like we have closer friends in that group and you know tyler i mean yeah he pulled an insane 362 because i mean he went from just working essentially like he almost the stirring, same job he was stirring pizza pete sauce with his bare arm <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah i worked there for six years yeah and um and what is it when when did i leave may yeah may may 19th uh, wow it's almost been a year yeah almost been a year since i've left holy shit yeah it's crazy and then i uh you know killed myself at ups <laughs> yeah then, i remember you that too. UPS for too long. i was there for three months but that was a painful three months. Yeah. yeah they, so that three months, if you don't like it, could seem like a fucking lifetime. That's the thing. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. And I just go in every night and just beat my body. Oh, I go and I go home every no, night and beat myself no, too. No. <laughs> Let me tell you. Okay. <laughs> and then. Oh. <laughs> Jason goes off. Like man, I'm I beat thinking actually. it's not gonna pick up. He's like, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like I I'd go home like it'd be like five o'clock in the morning. And then, like, eventually get to sleep at, like, 6 o'clock in the morning, wake up at, like, 5 o'clock at night, only have a couple hours, and then have to go back in and then do it all over again from Monday through Friday. It was, it was like, it was a part-time job, but it felt like it lasted forever. And then on top of that, like, no one knows what's going on there. And, like, you know, you can ask a question to one person, and it'd be completely different from... From the another other, person, of course. From one of the other person says. And, um... It, it was just annoying in that aspect too and I, I just got fed up with it and then so when um, my friend came to me and uh, said hey um, you know we're, or I know this place that need which is my current job now but um, that needs people like do, are you interested and I'm like what, what kind of work is it They're like warehouse work and I'm like anything to get out of this place honestly like i don't even care what it is i can be on a street but i've always i always think about it like they can bring up random holes i don't pe- care people are like oh, all that hard work shit or like wow how could you sit there and move boxes or like me how could you sit there and hit railroad spikes down all day like Money. some not even that <laughs> sometimes i feel like that hard work and shit like that like really makes you not think about things and mm-hmm. the only thing going on in your mind, like it's a distraction. Like, like we're in 2020. Electronics and technology is such a big thing. Where like I won't, I will admit, like I'm, I don't go anywhere without my phone. I'm most people, obviously, but like I feel like I'm always on my phone, and that's the thing that like that's like why I'm glad we're doing this in person because, in other ways, we would have just been on technology doing it. And yeah. I, like what I was saying is like if we're all together, like you get more of a serious, like, conversation, or we you get our actual like vibes towards each other instead of just being in a room yeah. and I mean, i've noticed that like when i'm out working time goes by so much quicker and like i'm not thinking about what's going on on instagram like what's the biggest news going on because you're so focused on your job and sometimes that hard labor is really helpful at least i've noticed with the shit i've been through in life like that is the best way i've always ever cleared my head yeah and like don't that's the only drawback that comes with my job because like i mean not not, not the fact that like you know we're not on like our phones and stuff but like 
the like the work is so like non it doesn't it doesn't it, it, at the end of the day you just go home and you're like oh like you know i'm like getting a little bit sore but like the whole time that you're picking like uh your your mind is just cycling through every yeah. single scenario mm-hmm. that's like i i came up with a whole list of topics that we didn't talk about tonight <laughs> we can always still talk about it. i know like, i mean we can always like, still talk like, about it like i know like you're doing like this whole like hour thing like if it goes longer it goes longer i mean that's just i, I feel like it doesn't really matter the time frame because it is a podcast and i feel like the more content we can grab out of one thing is great like you know what I'm talking about? I feel like it shouldn't matter if we do it in an hour. Because like, I feel like if we do it in an hour frame, we get rushed. Yeah. I, mean, I know, but I also feel like an hour gives you a good amount of time to talk about stuff and not talk about too much for you to talk about not talking well, about Well, that's... Well, yeah. so even if that, though, like, like those ideas... We could on, save it yeah, for the next on, podcast. Keep them saved, of course. But, um... 100%. Like, I'm, like my notes are not going to go away. Like, if we talk about it, then I'll, like, cross it off in my notes or whatever. No, of course. But, um, like... You know, like, you know, I brought up, like, E3 tonight, but, like, mm-hmm. we didn't get a chance to talk about it. But we still talked about that. I feel like we didn't get a chance because, like, like I said, like, all of us are together. So, like, our all of our minds are running and, like, you're just jumping from shit to shit. And, like, sometimes I like, I like that. Like, I'm not saying, like, it's not cool to stay on one topic, but constantly, like, keeping your minds flowing and just jumping oh, yeah. into things. Like, it's an yeah, entertainment right. thing. Like, some people, like me, for example, don't really pay attention to E3. Oh, like, like, someone's listening right now. They're like, oh, like, E3, like, I don't care about this part. And it's like it's like getting an idea like oh E three that doesn't say that we can't talk about it next time we could like E oh, three yeah. like we're gonna talk about what we did our last podcast E three and you can continue in it there's always room to do yeah. things without precautions or repercussions shit like that yeah you know like saying? I mean like I and I'm not like making a big deal I know no no I know and I know you're not I'm not saying you, you want to fight like, over it right now I'll beat the yeah, fight. No, I'm just <laughs> um like I can you know, save these notes for like next next week or um. What like whatever like whatever comes up or like even if like you know it gets to the point where like oh like all right like that's kinda like old news, everyone knows about that. Yeah. Or um like it's just like uh it, it keeps me on task. It's like it's like I, I mm-hmm. think like. I think if we were to to completely like because we are on one topic of how everyone's been doing, I could fucking finish this part off and we can either move on to the next thing or we could slowly migrate out of the Actually podcast. Yeah, we can John, finish I have on. a question for you. How have you been doing? Yeah, actually, let's, let's honestly, because you guys know a lot about me. You guys have seen the shit I've gone through, like my really shitty three-year relationship, where I'm not going to name drop, but the shitty three-year relationship I went through. Um, and I won't even say that it was bad all the way through because it was really good at first. But situations happen, stuff happens, you know. But from what you guys know and what you guys have witnessed, especially Jason, because Jason has seen very fucking shitty sides of my life. Um, I'm honestly, hands down, the happiest I've been in a very, very long time. It's nice to see. Yeah, like, like the girl, my, 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 my girlfriend, um, sweetheart. I've had a crush on this girl since fucking freshman year of high school. Like, and it's funny because like, she, she like never thought anything like that. Like, I, she could have found out, thought I was attractive, whatever. But like, she always thought I was like the weird kid in high school. Which, granted, you guys know we were. Yeah, oh, we were. We <laughs> were the weird kids. But like, you guys already know. Like, I was, no, no, no. I was weird as shit. But like. You had to know me to understand that weirdness. John was the only hipster in our high school. It was high school was I was not a fucking hipster, bro. What the <laughs> fuck? Like I'm not a hipster. But no, I'm I'm doing really good. Um, I'm starting to figure out myself more. Granted, I'd, I'd rather do other things in life than the job I'm doing now. But that's a slow progression. Like like what me and you were talking about earlier, Tyler, when we were on uh, Discord. Um, I actually. Very happy about it. Very excited about it. Um, coming around June, I'm uh, going out to California. Oh. And um, I'm collabing with a clothing line. And I'm very excited about it. Um, you, you can name drop that. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's going to get name dropped. Yeah. Uh, Alec would beat my ass if I didn't name drop his shit. But <laughs> um, the clothing line is called Social Experiment. Um, depending on the platform you drop it in, there's a certain way you spell experiment. Like the whole name in general. It's like not legitimately the way Social you, Experiment you, is spelled. You, you can spell it. I don't even know how to spell it 100%. <laughs> it's like, there's a letter that my mind keeps swapping, and it pisses me wait, off. I got, I'll look at my Google. I before E, except after C. Actually, yeah, hold on. Wait, wait a minute. No, no, no. Let me. No, no, we're going to find this. I got it on Instagram. Give me one second. So, so while they're doing this, right, I just want a quick comment. So, like, now that we're, we're in person, you know, it. IRL <laughs> actually, actually doing this podcast, 
Um, you know, the thing that I've noticed since the last podcast is that when we do these, it's actually kind of beneficial for all of us as a group because we get to actually learn about each other a each lot. Other. You, you know, normally when we hang out and stuff, um, you know, it's it's casual conversation. But I think the podcast, like for sure, you know, like allow us to to understand each other and pretty much explain like different things exactly. more thoroughly you know it just it it lets us um you know learn about each other a lot but uh yeah i think they got the uh the yeah, spelling of social so, experience uh, is it yeah. to kiss the homies good night so the company i'm working with and climbing with is called social experiment um the way you spell that is s-o-c-i-i-a-l E C X P E R I M E N T. Um, that's their Instagram. It's all one word. Um, I, it's some, it won't, I'm not saying the clothing lines for everyone. It's very like, I'd say like, at least as shitty as it sounds, but like TikTok y, like the e boy shit. It's like that, but I'm only saying it like that because that's how people like recognize can understand it that shit or recognize it. Yeah, but it's like, but TikTok. it's like, we had like, he has like dope ass fucking shirts. Um, he does like different style chains and shit. All of it is handmade. Like he goes like to Home Depot and shit like that and gets like the heavy link chains. He cuts all of them himself. Like he creates all of them. Every pad, like he has a padlock necklace. Every one he creates, he he hand etches. Like he puts his time and work. And that's what I love because like I love finding companies that are like low key but not low key. Like he's growing. When I when I met him and followed him at first, he was at like ten thousand followers. He has gotten almost 7,000 more followers since then and that was like two months ago so he's growing and i'm super excited about that because that's something i want to do is like clothing and all that shit and i'm super excited to be able to finally do something i want to do for myself and i feel like going to cali and doing this will give me that like like strive to want to do it more because i feel like me being in illinois doesn't like i get in like this weird slump where i feel like everything's a repeating pattern yeah i feel like getting out of illinois and doing something else will like open you my just mind need a more. drastic just change take a vacation that well that's, that that's what be. it is evidently yeah, it is a vacation be. but like two or three days because i'm gonna be out there for like a week and a half so the two day two or three days out of that week and a half is gonna be with him Obviously, we're going to be hanging out and getting to know each other because I've never met him. We've only done, like, FaceTime and shit like that. Oh, yeah. But it's going to be, like, hanging out, trying to – like, we're going to start making the shirts while we're out there because I'm, I'm going to have the print and everything ready to go by then. And then doing that, making a couple of shirts. Um, I'm, the shirts are going to be dope as fuck. I'm not going to really go into detail about how the shirt's going to look, but all of you guys will get a shirt Sick. for sure. Sick. Um, but, Sick. So it's, it's, I'm telling um, you, it, my, it's going to be fucking good. And uh, John, who and who are you getting to uh, design it? Um, I mean, I'm down for multiple people, but my main person that I'm going to talk to and to helping me design is actually my current tattoo artist, um, also my sister's boyfriend. His name is Lucas Medell. Uh, Lucas Medell, M A D E L. If you want to follow him on Instagram and look at his tattoo work, absolutely amazing. He's amazing at what he does. He's been amazing at artwork I, I, since I've known him. And um, he has the style that I'm looking for, and obviously, you know, some 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 of that benefit will add towards his way, money, anything like that. But that's what I want to do for the clothing line. But I'm also looking for like computer wise, because I need someone because our his like his page, like I showed you his page, like his actual website, and it's nice. But I always feel like there's more we can do, so I need like a graphic designer um. also. There's ways to uh, take like you know if you like scan it in the computer. There's ways to make it like a vector inside like Illustrator or something. Exactly. Choose Tyler. And like, but that's like what you, that's like what oh you God. two are about though. Like <laughs> Tyler and Frank. Like you guys yeah. both do that. So who says that like me, Tyler, and Frank can't all sit in a Discord call and like and literally and make it and make and it a thing? Could. Yeah. And this is another thing. Dude. Like you know how many times me and Frank sit in Discord talking to each other way like, too much on Photoshop or way too much <laughs> dude yeah like it, it isn't it's it's sickening how oh, often we're doing that and, pick one and, and the thing is <laughs> that's kind of funny is um you know you'd expect us to make more videos on doing that but we've only made one <laughs> yeah I mean, and Frank blew it out of the water with that one and you know GG uh, yeah GG awesome, fuck you yeah, sure. <laughs> pick, pick Frank <laughs> <laughs> no i mean but we could definitely like me and tyler make a good team because i mean he he knows he knows illustrator better than me which i i just don't really know anything about and you know i know what it does you know but i mean a monkey can figure out illustrator it's, i mean it's yeah so, but it's so simple that's yeah. so offensive he just said he doesn't know i, don't, ah, I, got, I guess i gotta be a monkey to understand uh, <laughs> like how do you guys work on paint <laughs> Microsoft Paint. Microsoft Paint. Dude, Microsoft if you Paint. can't do art okay. on Microsoft Paint, you don't belong ever doing 
Okay, editing. Graphic no, graphic Microsoft, design. Yeah. I'm not gonna shit on Microsoft Paint because Microsoft Paint has made so many awesome eight bit animations. Honestly, let's hey on some real shit. My my Samsung Curve at least, or I think it's not just the Curve, but I think most Microsoft Paint now is like. You could do like 3D imaging and everything on yep, there now. You can, yeah. yeah. And oh, I was wow. kind of like, "Whoa, Microsoft stepped their like they're like legit now." I, mean, actually, I, was, I was fucking yeah. with it like where like that you could like take an image that they like pre make for you, like a fish, and you could like drag it and make it like it's coming at you. Like yeah, you can look, you, you can, can you rotate. Can it's fucking what? insane. You can look at like make it look like it's coming out of the page. Like half the body's missing, but it's coming out. It's fucking insane what they've done. Wait, that makes shit. sense because on my computer, I didn't realize, but yeah, like, like 3D, I, yeah, it's just yeah, 3D objects, and I sick. never could yeah, understand why home, that's there. Look at it and try it out. It's fucking amazing. That is yeah, it, awesome. Really wow. <laughs> I feel like that's up Tyler's alley because I mean you you were in like three D ma- uh, with um, 3D modeling and, and all that. I dibbled. And like I, I, I can rig a bipod, you know? That's Yeah, dude. Hot. And Circuit so boards. I, I think on that Fuck note, me. um do you guys wanna <laughs> continue or do you guys wanna I like, say we I, just I say we wrap it up. Yeah, yeah we wrap yeah, it up. Yeah, it's been a good one. I so, I think we've had a good good conversation yeah yeah 100 percent. we talked about aliens coronavirus and fucking graphics oh yeah Um, graphics each (laughs) other everything yeah all right so guys so this has been the dry cat the dry cast (laughs) the dry cast the dry is hell it's my podcast thank you this has been the dry as hell podcast um make sure you if you're on watching this fucking subscribe (laughs) do that um and uh you know also follow us on soundcloud uh we'll be I'll yeah be i'm a part-time right. soundcloud rapper so let's do this <laughs> okay. bro this is i'm about to take off 2020 about to be a movie <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. hey my name's Lil corona let's fuck some shit up <laughs> <laughs> Lil corona hey, baby is the rap name Lil anus taken yet i don't think so i'm i'm about to hop on Dude, you're about to hop I'll, in it. I'll partner with Lil Dicky. We'll be Lil, Lil Dicky. Anus and Lil Dicky. Oh, oh my Lil god. Lil Dicky featuring my Lil Anus. Oh. <laughs> Call right, me, baby. Call me. <laughs> Alright, guys, this has been the driest hell podcast. I, I want to, before we completely end it. Okay. I want to thank you guys for uh, inviting me to this and letting me do this. I think it's a really cool experience. John, and I, I was kind of more. I was kind of iffy about it at first because, like, you never know. And I, I feel like this is a great thing to be a part of it's a double excited about this i john i think you just gave us a great idea though i feel like we should do all podcasts in the dark now thank you isn't it like more relaxing if your brain flows and then just call it the the dark room dark as hell podcast (laughs) i think that might get misinterpreted (laughs) hardcore yeah no dark as hell podcast (laughs) or photos get like we're all white we're all white the dark room podcast i got this dry as hell podcast at night. At <laughs> dry as hell podcast. Ooh. Night vision mode. <laughs> We're all sitting here with night Bravo vision. Bravo six. Up, bro. Going dark. Going dark. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so for the third time. Yeah. This has been the Dry as Hell Podcast. Bye. 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 See you later, everybody.